Welcome back. I'm Quinnen, and today we're going to make a C++ program that creates and writes to a data file. And then we're going to make a second program that reads from the data file that we just created with the first program. We're going to start by making a console application here. And so then we're, it's going to be C++, and then we'll, we'll just name it reading from file. You hit next, finish. So then we go into sources. We're, we're going to, not going to need this line here, so take it out if you include f string so we want this to take multiple words so we're going to have string string user um semicolons there all right so then of stream so of stream creates and writes to the file to make here if you're going to read from it you're going to want if stream but right now since we want to write to it we're going to be using of stream so i'll go of stream and then just type file so then we go file dot open so then in the, in the brackets we do quotations and then in the quotations we're going to call this data dot quinton all right so this is really cool here because you can make your own file type. It doesn't have to be a text file. It doesn't have to be a data file. The next thing that we want to do is give it an if statement. So we'll go if file dot is underscore open right there it is and then we'll hit enter next time we'll do brackets so then we want to do get line get line is very important in this because if we didn't have get line then you could only it would only write one word to the document in this our case we want to write multiple words not just one and then in here we go send getting ready for user input here and then we go user so then we want to go file and then less than symbols and then we want to go user and we'll end that with an end line so far we've got a file that opens it takes user input but now before the program exits we want to close the file so we'll go file dot lose and then we want to do std so file.close closes the file it, it, it terminates everything before it leaves so that everything is saved to the file so then we want to do std and then sin dot get all right now we should be good to go so we'll build and run this now in here we'll just type we programmed this data file got a little sentence there very small and then you just simply hit enter so you just hit enter again and then it should exit out. Now we close out, go to our file here, and right here, our data.quinton file. We open it up with notepad, and here you go. All right, so now in bin, debug, since we're, we're doing two files here, we're doing the, the write to file and then the read from file. So we want to rename this to write to file. Just make sure that it's not the same as what you compiled it as. So then we'll, once again, we'll say this was fun. Now, so we've got that there, right? So we go back into our code here. We're going to want to erase all of that, but we'll keep the string user and all that. That stuff's good. Then we kind of want to do the reverse of what we did last time. So we go if dream instead of of stream it's if stream because we're opening the file if stream file and then we do the uh, parentheses and then the brackets right and then we go data dot q u i n t o n for the quinn file that we created earlier all right so the next thing that we go is if file dot is underscore open Oop, missed one thing. I have those extra um, parentheses right there. So now we go into here, do more scrolly brackets, and then we go get line, and then you want to enter a file and then user, because user is the variable, and file is where we're getting our data from. So we want some semicolons on the end there, and then we go see out, and then user, and then end line. All right, so now after this, go outside of the scrolling brackets and we type file.close and then we go std two colons there and then sin.get and semicolon. So then we compile and run that. All right, so we've got this is fun. It's not writing to it. It's only reading from the file. Now we'll close this here just to make sure that everything's running. We'll open the dot quentin file open. So then we got this is fun. We're going to change that to with this program. So we're going to write hello. This is written from C++. So we hit enter. And then we go from the reading from file. And voila. The program is working. It's going into the .quinnon file here. And it's reading this information. And then it takes it and displays it in this screen here for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Quinnon out.